hey there so in this tutorial we will be adding ssh keys to github the number one reason to do this is that is every time whenever we need to push some changes to our repository we need to enter our username and password but there is an alternative way if we add ssh keys to the github then we don't need to enter username and password every time we make changes and push to the github repository the very first thing that we will we have to do is generate an search key pair so to do that you have to enter one and don't forget uh, to change your email address so open your terminal and then move on to the repository at the or cd to the repository now just enter this command and um put your email address here so is it and hit enter now it would ask you to enter a file so i am just pressing enter and assign the default one no passphrase here no passphrase here and it has generated the file here now the second step that we have to follow is that um, okay so just print out the file okay so this is a file name okay so I'm just printing out that this this tilde means uh, the home directory or we can just do this one okay now this is the public key that we have to use and again now go to your github settings and so here is a link to for that now here you have to add an ssh key click on this button new ssh key and then enter some title here for me it's this one and then just copy and paste your whole key and here click on add it ask you for the password enter the password Now, uh, yes, it's added that we can here. Yeah. So it's that never used. Okay. Okay. Now the next thing that we have to is, uh -huh. you have to set your repository. You are your origin. Just copy and paste this. Now replace this with your username. and then let's say yes this is the repository and this is the name copying it this is with the repository enter and just try to push the changes to origin master Okay, now as you can see that it did not ask me for the username and password directly push the changes as there are no changes so it's set everything up to date let us refresh this page okay now you can see that last use within the last week that it's working now 